position, engines full power, and lift off. Go Falcon, go Starlink. Vehicle is pitching down range. M1D chamber pressure is nominal. At T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 4E from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California at 12.19 a.m. Pacific Time. Now, the next major milestone coming up is Max Q, which is when the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external stresses of external stresses as it ascends through the Earth's atmosphere. We should hear that call out for Max Q in about 10 seconds from now. Acquisition signal, Hawthorne. Vehicle is supersonic. Max Q. And there's that call out for Max Q, which again is when the rocket experiences the largest amount of external stresses. Now we are about one minute away from a series of events, starting with MECO, or main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, MXL. then SES-1, or second engine start one, and lastly, fairing separation. MECO, or main engine cutoff, is where all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage shut down, and that's followed by stage separation when the first and second stages separate. This is then followed by SES-1, or second engine start one, which is where we light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. And lastly, we'll have fairing separation, which is when the two fairing halves separate and fall away from the second stage. So keep an eye out for these events happening in quick succession. And we should see that call out for main engine cutoff in about 10 seconds from now. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. And as you just saw and heard over the nets, we had successful Miko stage separation. Fairing separation confirmed. Second engine start one and fairing separation from the second stage. Now we'll be attempting to recover both fairing halves using our recovery vessel Go Beyond, which is also currently stationed in the Pacific Ocean. Both of the fairing halves that are supporting today's mission are flight proven and are flying for their third time on tonight's mission. Nominal trajectory. And there you heard that stage one and stage two are both following nominal trajectories. Currently the first stage, which is not on your screen right now, is on its way back to Earth towards our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, in the Pacific Ocean. And what you do have on your screen right there is the MVAC engine attached to the second stage, which is continuing its burn that will last another couple of minutes. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide no, high speed free. to provide high speed, low latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe.
As I mentioned earlier, today's Starlink mission marks SpaceX's 245th, 241st mission overall and the 42nd mission just this year. Now coming up next will be the entry burn on the Falcon 9 first stage, which is the first of two burns that will go through in preparation for landing. And we should see that Don't entry burn. We should hear callouts for that entry burn and maybe see it in about 45 seconds from now. On your screen right now is a live view of our MVAC engine on the Falcon 9 second stage, which is currently taking our Starlink satellites to orbit. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's that call out for the stage one entry burn. Stage one, which we also call the booster, ha has ignited three engines to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. Stage one entry burn shut down. And there was that call out that the entry burn on the first stage has completed. Coming up next will be the landing burn on the first stage. And that'll be the second and final Stage burn. Stage one FTS has saved. And that'll be the second and final burn in preparation for landing. As a reminder, on the left side of your screen is... <laughs> on your screen right now is a live view of the MVAC engine on our second stage. Stage one transonic. And there's that call out that the first stage is transonic, which means it is traveling near the speed of sound. Expected loss of signal, Hawthorne. Terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. And there's confirmation that the stage one landing burn has started in preparation for touchdown on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you, which is currently stage stationed. Stage two FTS has saved. Currently stationed in the Pacific Ocean. Stage one landing would deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And there's conf. There's confirmation that our Falcon 9 first stage has successfully launched and landed for the fourth time. Today's landing marks our 202nd overall landing of an orbital class rocket, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. Nominal orbit insertion. And there's that call out for nominal orbit insertion. With confirmation of both of these events, that'll wrap up our coverage for now. So be sure to check our social media for confirmation of Starlink deployment. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.